hello guys welcome to my channel again today i'll show you how to sew the back pattern of a suit precisely a double vent back pattern of a suit all right um so as you can see this is the good side of this um of the fabric this is a good side so on the inside you notice that i've already gone to my interface in using hesty all right so i'm sure this is not something that's going to be difficult so you can have already gummed everything i believe you should be able to do it so i just gummed the top part this side and then the down like this so this is how exactly to gum it and i did the same thing on both sides um both sides of the um back pattern like of course you know that the back pattern of a suit is made up of two sides the left and the right so you do the same thing on both left and the right okay so i'll be focusing on this part for now all right so the um the thing i'll do right now is just to fold this part the vent part i'm just going to make sure that it exceeds with like half inch around that area you can see that it's half inch yeah you bend it to make sure it, it comes in by half inch around that area and then you just maintain whatever you have at this part you make sure that you also have it at the bottom like this so it should be around two inches because from the drafting, if you remember, we drafted, we left about 1.5 inches when we're drafting the vent. So plus this half inch that we um, bent should give us two inches, okay? So when you bend it, when you bend it, you make sure you blend it to come out around the tummy line. Guys, if you, if, if you don't know how I got um, this back pattern, in my tutorial, I taught how to cut a suit so you should go and watch it i'll leave a link in the description of this video if you don't know how to draft the suit i've done that already i've done how to draft the suit the back the front and the middle piece i've done how to draft um the sleeve how to sew the sleeve so i'm doing how to sew the back now so we'll be going forward and i'll just finish up the suit series in no time so when you turn it this way whatever you do to the other side you do to this side of course you're using the back the first part the one under and I use it as a template to get the um the up part make sure that everywhere is equal then you bend it like this make sure you bend it equally with the one at the bottom so that no one is bigger than anyone they are, make sure they're just they are just equal okay so you can see you also blend this one to come out around the tummy line all right so this is just easy this is like the easiest pattern of making the back pattern of your suit double vent back pattern of your suit like i <laughs> i challenge anybody if you have a simpler pattern please i would love to learn it i don't mind paying but this is by far the simpler the simplest pattern i've ever seen All right so just comment in the comment section if you think you know a simpler pattern please i would love to to learn it all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to arrange our lining this is my lining and is on fold as you can see so that i can also cut both the left and the right part is on fold okay so i just carry my my main fabric which we just folded i'll just arrange it this way like this just arrange it now use my um um tailor's block to just hold it together now fold this part you can see this side i folded it equally but the top and the side there i left half inches around it but this back is equal the bottom also i'm going to trim it equal so the middle part and the bottom part is equal but the top and the other side will leave half inch around them just like i did like this now this other part i'm about to do now is the trickiest part okay so you're just going to fold it this way just fold it this way you can see you how to know the amount you fold is just just fold it enough um how do i explain this now just hold it enough for you to see um the remaining enough for you to see the vents all right then you trim off leaving half inch also so when you just get to the edge of this yeah this edge when you get to this edge you just stop there when you are cutting when you get to that edge around the other edge you stop there then you slant your hand and you just blend it to meet where you already cut like that so this is how to cut it guys you can see it so let me just explain this part again i know it's tricky so you just bend it like this enough for you to see your vent of the other parts you can see it enough for you to see that vent all right 
when you can see it then you are right then you just cut half inch away from it like that then you then you um, slant it and you blend it to meet what you've already cut from the beginning so that is it so i'll just explain to you how um i'll just explain to you how to sew it and then i'll just sew it and show you how i did it all right so as you can see guys there is a um i hope this is clear enough there is a line during my drafting i use a biro is a line that i drew during my drafting so i'm just going to sew on that exactly on that line i'm just going to sew exactly on the line you can see there's a line just follow the line exactly on the line and when i get to the top there's a notch around the top which i did and of course you should also go and check my um drafting of a suit you see it is a notch above there to show me that is where i'm supposed to stop because by the time i gum the top it's going to uh, cover the line but that notch is going to give me a guide to show me where to stop okay then the next thing is um, my lining for my line i'm going to do the same thing however for the lining the sewing allowance i'm going to sew for the line is just 0 0.5 inches not up to that of the main fabric all right so as you can see i've already sewn it you can see like i explained i followed the line i followed the line so you can see the sewing allowance is about 0 0.75 inches which i left during my drafting okay but as you can see that of the lining is just 0 0.5 the reason is because i want my line you can see 0 0.5 the reason why the reason why my, my lining is 0 0.5 inches is because i want um the lining to be free inside if the lining is not free um when the customer wears the clothes even though it fits it's going to be folding somehow so you always make your lining to be freer than the main body of the cloth okay so um for the line you're not going to open it you're not going to press it open you just push it to one side and iron it and that is all about the lining that's all about ironing the lining okay so that is it all about it all right so when we carry the fabric now first of all before you open press it you first of all iron your stitch okay to remove any um rumples or squeezes um, your machine must have given it first of all iron it then you notch it it gives spaces and notch then make sure you are careful enough not to notch your stitch if not it might lose in the long run so you open it now you just open it and you open, open it and you open press it or you press it open i don't know what you call it so that's it you can see just put it like this and you iron it properly okay guys so that is how it is so the next thing which is to fold it down with the allowance we left if you remember during the drafting we left two inches at the bottom for folding allowance and this is what you are going to fold exactly two inches no more no less if it's more it's going to give you a problem if it's less it's going to give you a problem so make sure you fold exactly two inches because that's what we left during the drafting okay so you just make sure you fold two inches so the make just focus on the two ends of the back if the two ends of the back is two inches even if the middle is more than two inches is fine just make sure the two ends is two inches most times the back will be more than two inches and that is fine just make sure the two ends is two inches and you are good to go so you can see it i folded it you can see i folded it and that is that so the next thing is how to attach the lining to the back pattern all right so guys if you're if you driving value from these tutorials and you are not a subscriber you are wrong you're not doing me good just show me love and um, if you know i'm um, giving you uh, valuable content show me love subscribe to my channel turn the notification bell okay so i'm just going to sew this part with about 0.25 that is one quarter inch i'm just going to sew it like this and then i also draw it to this part and sew this part also with 0.25 inch it shouldn't be more than 0.25 it shouldn't be less than 0.25 it should be exactly 0.25 so i'll sew it and this is how it looks you can see exactly 0 0.25 i've sewn it okay all right so the next thing i'm going to do is how to sew it down and to sew it down i'm going to fold it you can see we have a crease around here or what we call ghetto 
okay so we have a crease at the both sides so we're just going to put it this way and drag our landing up a little bit we drag it up up to about one and a half at the middle like this then you sew from the end edge there you sew it up was like this and then you come down to this other side so what you are going to have is when you sew it accurately what you are going to have is like a triangle okay all right so that's how you are going to do so i just do it and come and show you the results so this is it i've sewn it if you check carefully you see so you can see i sewed around my ghetto i bent my ghetto like and i sewed there's another ghetto on this line um vertically so i sewed 0 0.5 inches above the um straight line at the bottom and the same thing i sewed above it on this side okay so i just trim off this xx you can see what i'm telling you it created something like a triangle yeah so you can see it and that is that so the next thing you're going to do you're just going to fold it this way and this is the last thing you're just going to hold the um seaming allowance of the of the back like this and you sew them together that is the last thing to do when you are done with the back pattern of a suit you can see you just hold it like this and then you just stitch them together you reinforce so that the stitch will be very strong so all another way let me just use my hand needle to hold them together so that i will explain to you perfectly well so as you can see i'll use my hand needle to hold it You know, I need to hold it here like that. You can see then we can use our um, machine to sew it. As you can see, I've sewn it. And this is how it, you can see it's strong and it's not going to lose. So the next thing is just turn it and you iron it. Just turn it and iron it properly. And then you use your needle, your sharp needle and just bring it out. Just bring the edges out. Bringing out the edges is a little bit tricky because you have to bring it to be sharp. You have to bring it to be sharp and like that. So that is it. So like I was saying guys, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. If you have a question, comment in the comment section. Okay. So you can see, make sure you bring it out perfectly where you can see how my mine is sharp. So that is the way it should yours should be i would love to see a picture i'll leave the link to my whatsapp group in the in the description so that you can always send me your um if you've done anything like you can just send it to me and let me see how it is so you can see how mine is the two edges you can see how sharp they are this is the way it should be guys so i'll leave two links in the comment section one for my drafting of the suit and then one for my whatsapp group and you can always join so this is it guys so the next thing is just to iron it the next thing is just to iron it and we are done we are actually done but just for um sake of perfection and clean work we just iron it so this is it guys like i was telling you can see how the lining on the inside is freer than the body the lining seems to be over it seems to be too much but that is the way it should be yeah, right the line is supposed to be much inside so that the suit to be free so you can see you iron this other side Iron it like this, and that is how to get the back pattern of a double vent suit. All right. Remember, my suit course is still going on. If you want to register, send me a DM on WhatsApp or send join my group on WhatsApp and um, send me a message as the admin of the group. Okay. So this is it guys, this is how a back part, a back suit of a double vent is sewn. You can see how easy it is. Like I said, this is the easiest pattern I've ever seen. And trust me, I've seen a lot of patterns. And this is the easiest. Okay. So guys, if you've watched up to this pattern, thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about my um teaching skills tell me where you need you think i need to improve just say something in the comment section and if you're not subscribed please subscribe to this channel just hit the subscribe button and then turn on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever i drop 
a new tutorial video okay so thank you so much guys for watching i love you so much thank you so much and this is my back pattern of a suit you can see how it is that is all guys thank you so much for watching have a great day